Welcome to Incorrect Aspect Ratio Theater. This is kind of weird because, like, normally you can't even see my glasses because they're rimless. And <laughs> this light is making shadows on it. It's been almost 24 hours without power. And um, they just announced that it'll be another 24, probably. Um, even more than that because... Uh, they were talking it, it might be into tomorrow night, which would be about 30 hours, I guess. So, here I am. Can't even do anything. I'm bored silly out of my head. Um, <laughs> I was going to work on Xavier Marks, but all my spreadsheets are on my computer. Um, then I thought, I well, I got, I figured out a nice hook for my book. And, um. For my next hunt and uh but i can't type that up because i don't have a computer um there's no power i don't want to run my laptop because once it runs out of power it'll be dead uh, i'm still on call the plant they close the plant until monday um because even if the power comes back up um there's issues with paints and because we paint thousands of doors a day and we go through you know, hundreds of gallons of paint, and that's all drying up right now in the pipe. So <laughs> I don't know how they even take care of that. I'm sure they got some method of cleaning that out, but they said the pipe is, they said the paint is solidifying. So even if the power comes back up, it's going to take them a day or two to get the pipes cleaned out and um, other things. And it's so quiet here that I'm hearing noises that. <laughs> I would never hear during because during the day I have two fans on and stuff and like the other part of the basement doesn't have carpet in it and um the cats the cats um have something that's that's wooden and they're knocking something around in there <laughs> I can't figure out what it is because it's too dark to see um my the rest of the family did leave they went to a hotel but I didn't really want to leave my cats here alone um so i'm staying it's about 55 degrees in here and dropping it's outside in the real world it's about 25 degrees <laughs> so it is below freezing outside what are you doing wow so yeah it's been an interesting night um i lit my hurricane lamp which i've been using for days now and for days for the last day um and i lit it and the flame like shot way up in the you know about halfway to the ceiling i was like what the f <laughs> so i'm afraid to use my hurricane lamp now so i got my little uh my little dome light and uh i got a candle or two uh, but i'm i'm afraid to use the hurricane lamp anymore and I don't know what the cats are doing right now, but they're making a lot of noise. Uh, um, we did see, we did go down. We live in the middle of a block and we went down to the corner where the lines are down. And we finally saw what brought the lines down. There's a huge tree and it brought down lines going in two different directions. Uh, they finally started cutting the tree up, but they did. They started like right when it was getting dark out and then they stopped again. So... <laughs> Hopefully they'll pick up again in the morning. I'm sure they got to get that all out of the way before they start working on the wires. But it was a huge, huge tree. And it was one of those trees that have like five trunks. And the whole thing uprooted and fell over. And it's just huge. And it's a big mess. Um, and it's not the only place in town where something like that happened. Uh, they, um, The entities that are crawling around... Um, for some reason, they won't break the glass. They'll, they'll come up to the glass, they'll tap on it, they'll scratch it, but they won't break it. So it's, I, I'm feeling safe, but the whole neighborhood just has so many entities in it now. And um, uh, the neighbor, I've been, you know, across the street, the neighbor's front door is wide open and I've seen entities go in and out. Um, so I have no idea how they are, but I don't even think I could make it to the car in the driveway you know right now there's so many entities out there um they said on one of the news reports that 
you know, if you are confronted with one, you, you know, there's a glowing part on their chest and you're supposed to stab the glowing part and it won't kill them, but it'll incapacitate them long enough for you to get away. So, yeah, I don't even know how the pizza guy is going to come. Uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for nine o'clock. My paycheck goes in at nine o'clock and, um, uh, that's when I can eat again. I haven't eaten all day because I, it's funny, <laughs> You know, I didn't realize that, uh, you know, literally all my food is microwavable. Um, there's hardly anything upstairs that, you know, I can just take out of the cupboard and eat. It's all stuff you got to cook. And we have an electric stove, so we can't even do that. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, so it's just all crazy. So, but I'm doing okay. I'm just uh, trying to stay warm. And as every time I lay on my back and doze off a little bit, the cats get on me and they warm themselves up. So um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to stay. I didn't want to go to the hotel. Um, so, and, and I, oh, I hear scratching at the window again. That's so terrifying. Anyway, um, anything else going on? I was going to work on Xavier Star. I know I have a like a number crunching thing I got to do, and I've been I started it um, a couple days ago, and uh, of course it's all on a spreadsheet. And <laughs> it's too much to recreate. If it wasn't that involved, I wouldn't. Uh, I would get out a piece of paper and do it by hand, but. Um, I've already done so much in the spreadsheet. I'd hate to recreate all that um, on a piece of paper. And I got this nice hook for uh, for um, the fall of the fall of Crescent. Um, yeah, it's. I think I I finally because I was trying to find a way for the story to make sense, and and I needed like a hook i needed a a plot twist and i finally figured all that stuff out um anywho i gotta find i know i'm out of soda i'm gonna have to have the pizza guy bring me a soda too and uh i gotta find my pills in the darkness it's just so boring <laughs> My phone, I you know, I got to keep my phone charged because I'm on call. And who knows what calls I'm going to get. And uh, I can't do anything anyway because I don't have power. I don't have internet. Um, my phone barely has two bars. So it's not enough to tether the computer to and establish the VPN. Um, I'm looking over here. I, the only electronic thing I have is this thing here. It's my uh, my meter for testing, uh, you know, oxygen level in your blood. <laughs> so I've just been taking my oxygen level over and over and over again. Um, let's see what it is now. 97. Because it's the only thing that's working right now. Um I could probably read, but I don't want to use up my flashlight. Um, I'm afraid to light the, the hurricane lamp again. <laughs> I don't know what. I think I sprayed some air freshener and then I lit the lamp. And that might have been why the flame shot way up in the air. But who knows? But um, yeah, it was kind of scary. I, I, and plus the lamp, you know, that has liquid in it. So if it falls, it's going to start a fire that I won't be able to put out. Whereas if a candle falls, I can at least put that out. So, anyway. That's it. Um, I'm sitting here with the cats in the dark and will be all night. I don't know if I'm going to catch the live show tonight. Uh, just depends on how much charge my phone has. I'm at like 40% right now. So, anywho. Um, yeah. I, I probably should have went live, and at least I could have chatted with some people, but we'll see. Maybe later when I'm really, really bored, and it's the middle of the night, and I can't fall asleep. So, anyway, stay safe out there, guys. There's a lot of people that have it a lot worse than I do, um, and I just feel bad for them. And, um, there's not much we can do. 
Um, so, you know, they just have to pull together. And um, if there was anything I could do, I'm sure, I'm sure I'd be out there doing it. Um, but I'm just kind of hanging out with my bean. And oh, the, the taps on the window are just getting worse. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.